So hello everyone, welcome back to more of Icebreaker Round 4. Of course, as always, the Black Shadow. And uh, just got ourselves ready to meet up with uh, June Pecorino. Apparently this is his, uh, this is his pad here. As we've uh, taken uh, the advice from um, from Ray, we have got ourselves... Uh... Are you fucking kidding me? I'm busy, I'm sorry. Sorry, cousin. I cannot play darts with you right now. Cool, cousin. Another time, then. Call me. Fucking Roman Bell, okay? God damn it. Let's go say hi to Jimmy P. I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work <laughs> for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like <laughs> you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. Fuck you, Nick. Come on. The eye roll. Peg. Perfect. Ah, someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Ah. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, <laughs> okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. <laughs> I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a stork a lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? Huh? I don't know. What do you think? Snake? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't going to push. Anthony, get in here. Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. See to them and the cops. It's them. <laughs> They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. <laughs> God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with hey, Pegorino. What, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss. Salve. What's yeah. going on here? I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. Hmm. I don't think all's well with the, uh... In the Pegorino business. On his way. Nico, right? Skipper said you'd be driving. The sit down's over at the old refinery in the after industrial park. Um, there we go. What was going on? Yeah, I. Seems all kinds of weird, that everyone. Also, Maturismo, never mind. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! I was going in there with Ray and, like, hmm. 
You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses would be overtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Havanas wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip. They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. <laughs> it's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? Hmm. I operate out here from time to time. Pavanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a fight. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully, they're going to respect that when it comes time to ask of them for a favor. Yeah. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! <laughs> Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a mm. fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, oh, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! <laughs> oh, man, I've forgot a lot about Jim Pecorino, but I think I'm going to enjoy him. Very good. I think that's more, um... Uh, more uh, confirmation that the diamond deal, I think Ray might have been doing on his own behest and uh, not been letting Jimmy know about what he was up to. It would appear to be that was the case. Anyways, here's the meat point. I don't like this at all. This. We're planning on doing this today. Drive. This sucks. Jimmy, it's fine. All right, I'm just. I'm security. I'm scoping the yeah, place. Give us a you know? rifle, Marco. You expect him to start throwing empty cans from there if this thing kicks off? Christ. No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. Now, naturally, this is a Grand Theft Auto game. So being a Grand Theft Auto game, um, typically these sort of things aren't going to go all that well. I do seem to recall having some problems with this mission uh, when I first played through this. It could just be me. Also, hello, um, hello, shotgun sitting there. But yeah, I seem to recall having some real, real issues with this mission. So though, uh, this could be um, this could be interesting. If we head on up here, here's the spot. We got here. There's Bavano men. Okay, fair enough. Just keep a uh, little bit of an overlook here. I don't know too much about how this is all about to go down, but um... well, there's your answer. Jesus, keeping cover there, Jimmy. Oh dear. Well, looks like someone shot him. Right, we need to get going here. I hear more dudes getting out as well. Oh, God damn it. Just jump over this, it'll be fine. Mm hmm. That's what I thought. So much for doing a favor, eh? Oh, 
this is an open spot. Ow. You can hear AKs. Oh. You. That would explain a lot. I think, Raid, um, Jimmy, you'd even been nice to these guys, you know? Done them a favour. Hmm. Yeah, tell someone who cares. Oh, you're not dead yet? Well, you're dead now. <laughs> Whoa, why did getting the cover not work? Good. That was interesting. Oh, hello. You gotta be kidding me. Right, let's clear some of these scumbags out. I'm trying, game. I think he's been wounded in the attack, by the looks of it. Oh, the guy's up above. It doesn't matter. I live for this Whoa! Come on! Jeez. Jimmy, you okay? Hmm. Knew they did this. I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The <laughs> motherfuckers try to whack me at a sit down. Disgraceful, right? They're trying to make off with my tribute. The fucking nerve. We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico. Snakes, right? Now we can't, we gotta be careful here. We gotta be careful not to just blow up the car here. I'm trying. Like, I would say you could help by, you know, shooting as well, but you are kind of um, not having, not doing too well here. His tires are gone. Oh, he had a bad day. Get back here! Yeah, this is what he meant by snakes. <laughs> I love the guy in the um got destroyed, Mr. Pegorino. I'm sure it was real nice. Maybe you can pick up another one on Craplist.net. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that cousin of yours. He won't be in no danger sleeping in your Algonquin pad by yourself. <laughs> That's nice. We need to redo the mission there. But you notice like the guy in the fort lift like, ended up like falling over. That was good. Well. Looks like I get to do this whole mission again. So that's nice. Why the hell does, does Jimmy stop there? I haven't a clue. Well, at least it might mean we might get some uh, alternate audio. So I guess that's cool. What are you waiting for? Hit it. Let's go. Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning in a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with the diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me. This could be interesting. I didn't get where I am by believing whatever schmuck told me. 
You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised you <laughs> can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ass. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for him, though. I don't like the way he does business. Things got too complicated. Damn right they did. That ice was a real fuck up. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. Mm -hmm. Guy owned the diamonds, gay Tony. Is it with the enchilada? Mm. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our involvement with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Favanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission. You're going to get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time, old and you got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. <laughs> I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. All that ain't worth nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long, and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The hmm. Provanos. Are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got founded. Shit. Times has changed. Since Rico, the commission ain't the same. They need a family with a new approach to be sitting down with them. I got a nice little offer to the Pavanos that's gonna persuade him to argue my case. Something real classy. Real nice. Can't wait to see the look on their faces. <sighs> the irony. So that would explain plenty then. That would explain plenty. So, um... It may have been perhaps inferred, I suppose, earlier on in the game. And again, this is one of the weird things of this game. When you end up redoing missions, uh, you end up getting like alternate dialogues which give you plot points perhaps you wouldn't otherwise get. Um, and it's possible that it may give you some of these by random anyways. But um, that's basically the long and short of things. Is that um, Gay Tony, who uh, was what obviously was... Um, Involved in the sort of with the diamonds uh, is embedded the Ancelotti's, hence another reason for the retribution and the uh, the ransom of Gracie. It's all kind of intertwined, interlinked. Right, we're gonna try and not fail this mission this time. That'd be good. The fucking Pavanos, if we kill every one of them slime balls, then maybe the other families will give me their seat on the commission. Fucking living city families. Get them, Nico. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Man, my best ain't good enough. I did my best. A name for the Pecoritos. Earned a lot of good money for a lot of bad people. And this happens. They try to fucking kill me! But at least they had the respect to do it to the meat. They didn't come to your home while you and your wife were sleeping. Let's make them wish they were never born! Is that Kara's respect? I don't know. Not Run sure. Fucking road. Anyways, I'm guessing this is like one of them sort of like sort of more scripted chases. Um, because yeah, we, we end up like taking out the freaking um, the car and obviously that's no good because they didn't even try and bail So I guess you just got to pursue them until they get to wherever the hell it is they're going There we go I think he's dead. I was this close to actually freaking doing it. Like, are you kidding me? That's that's kind of ridiculous. Also, health back up here, which is worth knowing. There's also a suit of armor as well, and amongst all the um the stuff earlier, oh, we totally missed it. All right then, we got what we needed. Let's get out. Here you go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. Uh, oops. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alderney. Even if it don't in Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco mm. and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. 
It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places it didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. It feels <laughs> different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% mm. Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jeez! Yeah, of course. Um, that's the awkward bit uh, with the Mafia. Um, only those of, like, you know, proper Italian heritage can actually really climb all that high in the organization. Phil... <laughs> Phil might be uh, a good man and all, but, yeah, if he's not even percent Irish, unfortunately, that's, um, that's just the way it works, you know, because uh, if they were to promote him super high, like, yeah, he just... All the other fans would just look at him with just pure disgust. Which is the way it kind of works, but there you go. Man, this poor car. Gonna need some body work to uh, put it mildly. You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Shouldn't you go to like a hospital or something? Or like, you know. Like, you got shot in the gut, mate. You should probably, you should probably do something about that. Nah, maybe he knows his own dudes. That's my only assumption. There we go. A cool $10,000 for my trouble. Although, sadly, my car has gone, so that's a shame. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. It'll be fine. Alright then. So, with that all done, I guess... The only thing left for us to do... Um, is... Yeah, I sure suppose we'll uh, make our way back towards, um... Towards Orly State, I guess. Let me just, um... I'm sure he'll be able to assist, right? I'll see you over there. Not only do you not pay for the ride, but you make the car smell a big shit. Merry Christmas to you too, buddy. Oh, do some Jimmy. Do a last job, come see me. The boss. <laughs> Yeah, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, so the um, yeah the Pigarinos are obviously not one of the like the major families across uh, Liberty City. Um, hence the uh, trying to get a seat on the commission, I suppose, that determines uh, you know basically like the the senior. I think it's like five families, I believe it is. So uh, no wonder he wants to get on top of it. Anyways, let's go see. Uh, let's go see Jerry. There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? He ain't getting out. Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. In fact, he'll give you a call and explain. The ex boyfriend of your girl is gonna agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. You've been a great lad. You look after yourself. Yeah. Well, that kind of sucks. What can you do, though? I assume here we are. Nico, me and Gracie is waiting for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. <laughs> you should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. 
Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. Diamonds, you say? Huh. So I take it that we've got ourselves a uh, buyer, if you will. I can only assume that the um, the head of the Ancelotti family is basically he's um, willing to pony up the cash, and he's going to do the deal for Gracie. Um, although interesting again that uh, Packy mentioned about diamonds. Could be the same ones, or maybe not, or hard to know. We'll see. Again, I know like the event of what's currently going on is going to. Um, uh, oops. Much like the stuff with the diamonds in the first place, I am aware that this whole um, kidnapping thing is also going to be cropping up in the other DLC stuff that's going on as well. So um, we'll kind of um, kind of see where it goes. Again, my memory's a little bit on the uh, on the um, hazy side. There's Packy, and uh, well, there's Gracie. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Ah, yes. So we haven't been yet, for good reason. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loves you. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you. Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with low lives <laughs> like Nico here. He's got his uses. I got to use fucking users! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. Fuck it back in. Oops. Well. Ah, uh, Packy. Like, it's... It's almost admirable. Like, his chirpiness, given the situation and what's about to go down, it's, it's, is um, it is almost admirable. Fair play to the man. So, yeah. We're here to do the deal. And we've got to get ourselves down to, uh, Charge Island. Now, the way down to here is a little funky. As you can Let's see from... As you can see from the, uh, situation. Um, we should probably just... Pay the money and hope the cop doesn't notice. Just, just get in the way, Packy. Just get in the way. Thank you. There we go. I don't, I don't think he saw. Good. Yes, yeah, so it's this, this weird route round and all the rest of it. Yeah, so this is this is Charge Island, um, small area, not one that you head to again very often at all in the game. Um, but basically it's just a small little industrial area. It's kind of cool though. There's a lot of nice little touches to it You know like the, the bridges and whatnot It's a shame you basically only need to come here like once if not twice in the game unless you're curious Now I could probably have just cut across the grass as well, but meh meh Now packing I can only hope to God that it's not just us coming here to do a deal. Like, you've got some other guys that we know that are going to be here, like, looking out for us. Because, like, Antony might just pay the cash over, or he might just try and kill us all while we're there. It's hard to know. Here's the facility. Howdy, officer. Yeah, this is the spot. That's a vantage point. Can't say I'm too fond of this. Well, well, well. Gracie, you all right? Guys? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. 
I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle, we walk back. Then, you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. At least we know where they went, eh, after the uh, museum um, deal went down. Back to me, honey. Let her go. Uh oh. Who the? Nikabelik. How is it? That whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away. It's... I've never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Can't you? Well, shit. I don't care what you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. Fucking Ray Bulgarin. Add into the list of people we have to take out. God almighty, there's a lot of dudes. Dear Lord. Christ. Next time, Packy, bring one of your idiot brothers to help or something. Hell, right. We're gonna need to try and like. As on the same flank, it's not gonna work. We're heavily outnumbered. We need to try and do some sort of flanking here. Let me see if I can't get around on some of these dudes. Ow! No, get in cover, you idiot. To at least make even my job easier, or um, or or packies. One or the other. God damn, Ray Bulgarin. I mean, yeah, I suppose Packy would have no idea what the hell's gone on between us. You should not have me. But as he makes the point pretty clear, I don't think he cares right now. Oh, Carbine so much. Such a good gun. Where is he? I think he's down. There's a guy up there, apparently. <laughs> Idiots. Well, he's dead. I'm sure there is. That doesn't surprise me at all. How did Bulgrin know about this meat? Maybe the, the question just doesn't really matter. It's a bit hard to... God. Packy actually come over here to help or or what? Is he just chilling down there? Who knows? I think he's trying, so fair play to him. Ah Let me get around here. There we are, that's a bit better. We got him? No? Well, apparently he knows where he's going, so whatever. Alright then. Whoa! Guess there's a reason there's grenades there. If you say so. 
Oh, so he's gonna go that way. I see. Hello, everyone. Mm-hmm. Shit! <laughs> God almighty. Let's be playing news about this by the time we're finished. Bloody hell. Whoa! Get some cover, you idiot! Man, these guys are rocking body armor, I can tell. They are taking a lot of punishment. I love the big in this game, it's quite fun when it wants to be. It's gotta be alright. Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Lleva no isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. <laughs> wow. That's the fate of the diamonds. You get paid for what you just did, buddy. Get up. Never mind. <laughs> well, he's dead. I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I agree. Um. Fucking hate that in this game. Trouble for nothing. Kidnapping the bitch, holding on to her, fighting through them damn Russians, all of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to no, meet Gracie. Screw that. Oh, I got coached in knocking her teeth out. That was about it. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Bacino, but we would have got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would have made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got a suspicion those were the ones Ray Bocino got me to handle a while back. Um, They're bad luck. Me and that's no good. Oh, me. And it turns into a blood bear. This is gonna awkward. No, they stole this from the guy that took it. Diamonds. Ray first made me cheat them out of the trash. We need a police call me and get out of here immediately. Nope. Oh, Lord. Get in, you idiots. Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bogger in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bogdan had lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Hope Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Bohem to get away from him and another man called Dimitri Raskolov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Hove Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one <laughs> lucky motherfucker, Becky. 
Now, what they just had was a nice touching conversation. Unfortunately, no opportunity to appreciate any of it because of all the bullshit that's just been undergoing here. Driving in Liberty fucking city, eh? Are you fucking kidding me? Right. Police. Yeah, I know. By the way, yeah, that is, that is, um, those explosions, yeah, four turn pack was throwing Molotovs. Why is throwing Molotovs? I don't really know, but whatever. Right. So, yeah, we need to get out of here, and this is going to be awfully fucking difficult. Oh, I'm sliding this car so goddamn much. This is depressing. I thought it was raining. There are the fucking cops. Yeah, I know. Stop doing that. Hi! That's really not helping, Packy. Oh! God. I smacked a lot bigger assholes than you. <laughs> oh, dear. Jeez! We lose this heat. Mm. Yeah, that was that was super. Oh, this is very unfortunate. Okay, we're good. <laughs> right, um, so next move. Oh my god. We got a lot of um a lot of distance to cover as well. That freaking chopper is not helping. It is just chasing us down. Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn loose teams and everything. It was all because of that one police that was just standing there. I was like, what the hell is he doing there? I thought he was I thought it was legit glitched. I literally thought he was legit glitched. I was like, he has no business being there, and then all of a sudden it's just like, well, actually I do exist, and um well, a mess from there. But I think we're good. for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. <laughs> you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. You know what? He's got a point. When you break it all down, that was a monumental mess. Hey, Ray, I got some bad news for you. You weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Volgarin claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit. You got them? Where are they? Liberty City dump? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic. Hmm. Pretty sure that's not what Ray wanted to hear in any respect. So, we lost Gracie. We didn't get the money. We didn't get the diamonds. We're almost whacked by Ray Bolgerin. The Ancelotti's now know who it was that stole their, uh, their daughter. On the bright side, at least we had a good evening's entertainment with Packy, right? Thanks, Packy. I appreciate it. Anyways, I think that's uh, a pretty suitable place to uh, bring into this video. So thank you all for watching, as always. Uh, next time... Uh... I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do next time. I suppose probably go back and say hi to June Pegorino again. I am curious to try and work out more of what Jimmy was saying. 
Would you rather have a, dece a deceitful snake or a stoic lion? Hmm. I wonder if he was referring to uh, Ray and Phil there, perhaps? Hmm. I'll see you next time.